Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be giving you a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial on how to go from color to black and white using a real cool fade effect. Let's get it! So today I'm going to show you how to easily go from color to black and white with a fade transition that is very seamless and looks very awesome. So I have two clips right here. I have a beautiful girl having fun in a swimming pool. That's literally what the file says. And a graffiti artist painting on the wall. These are stock clips I got from Video Blocks. And I'm gonna be using that for the tutorial today. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to skim your footage. All right, she's playing in the water. Water, water. And right there, um, I'm gonna hit the blade tool. And on this block right here, we're gonna, we got two options. We can either hit Command 6 and your color palette will come up right here on the right hand side and you can either drop the saturation down, drop all these down and adjust this a little bit. That could be your black and white or if you didn't wanna do that, you could come over here to all, and where's the black and white? got 50s TV you can scroll and you can just drag and drop that either or I'm more of a color palette guy I like doing everything manual sometimes so that's what I did once you have this clip regular color this one black and white we come over here to transitions and under dissolves we have a cross dissolve we add that right here and Voila. The smaller this dissolve, the faster it fades, or we can extend it out. And you can see the difference right there. That's more of a longer fade to the black and white, which gives it a little bit more dramatic effect. And for this tutorial sake, I'm gonna do the reverse. So let's say I wanna go from black and white to color and I'm gonna use this graffiti palette to show you an example of that. So homie's getting down, you know, tagging up a little bit. Hit the blade tool, come over to saturation, drop that down, drop it all down. At the end of the day, these don't really matter. We could just drop this down for real, for real. Come over to exposure. I'm gonna expose my image right. And then keep that color right here. Get the cross dissolve. And we get the opposite effect. If we extend it out. We get a more dramatic effect going into the color. That actually works very well. Use this simple effect to spice up your videos. If you enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy, smash that like button for me. If you wanna see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, as well as vlogs, unboxings, reviews, and videographer business tips, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.